evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to our first of three tournaments to determine the Tri-State Zone Wrestling Champions. Our first tournament will determine the mid-card champion, also known as the Bloodline Championship. We have the Falcon taking on Brad Flynn in the first match. In the second match, we have Brennan Monarch taking on TJ King. In the third match, we have SK Caldwell taking on the Avenger. And in the fourth and final match of the preliminaries, we see WTF's own Blake O'Reilly take on the one and only Samuel Draven. Without further ado, let's get this started. Every match will be held under no holds barred rules there will be no outside interference there will be no disqualifications there will be no count outs there will be a winner one of these two will advance to face either Brennan Monarch or TJ King. We would like to take this time to thank our sponsors over at the Gravy Network for making this broadcast possible. As we get things set up here for our first round. And here we go, the following contest is a first round matchup for the Bloodline Championship Tournament. Introducing first, this is the Falcon. This man is a very, very decorated wrestler inside that ring, holding championships all over the world, and now looking to test his medal here in the Tri-State Zone Wrestling. The crowd familiar with the Falcon also familiar with this next individual. And introducing his opponent. This is Brad Flynn. Brad Flynn prides himself on his basic wrestling skills and he has found a lot of success in doing so. Almost the same level of success as Falcon. The crowd is split here. Half of them chanting for Flynn, half of them chanting for Falcon. Come on. 
Here we go. Brad Flynn starting things off with a running neck breaker. And then a float over neck snap to follow it up. Taking it right to the Falcon as he knows he has to do. Stiff back elbow to the jaw. Straddles him across the middle rope. Oh, and just driving his throat down with all of his body weight. Stiff back elbow dropping the Falcon to the mat. Beautiful move from Flynn planting the Falcon again. Running shoulder block knocking it off the apron. Brad Flynn not known to go to the outside very often. Beautiful running elbow drop there on the ramp. Sending him further up. And driving the point of his elbow down into the pectoral muscle. Looks like Flynn tried to send him into the railing there. And Falcon was able to stop himself but lost his footing. This match has been all Brad Flynn from the start. Vertical suplex in the entranceway there. There's no steel ramp. That is all concrete. Takes it back into the ring now. Flynn shoots him off into the corner. Oh, we've seen this before. Flynn-born DET! Brad Flynn knows he has this match well in hand now. Brad Flynn stalking the Falcon, and there's the Flynn lock! There's the Flynn lock, there's no rope breaks! And the Falcon has no choice but to tap out! What a flurry of offense from the get-go. The Falcon standing little to no chance. And there you see the tap out. Here's your winner, and advancing to the next round of the tournament, Brad. Flynn! And indeed a strong win for Brad, for Brad Flynn here, excuse me. As we move on to the next matchup, we see Brennan Monarch going up against TJ King. Brennan Monarch was signed to East Coast Wrestling before they lost their television deal, but never really made his official debut until after they actually lost the deal. And it's unfortunate because this man is incredibly talented. TJ King, a relatively new signee. But we've heard incredible things about TJ.
The following contest is a first round match in the Bloodline Championship Tournament. Introducing first, this is Brennan Monarch. Calls himself the King of the Gut Buster. We've seen him use it many times and very effectively. And his opponent, this is T.J. King. Spoke to T.J. King before this match. He didn't have much to say. He just told me that Brandon Monarch will, quote, bow before the feet of royalty. Not really sure what what to make of that, but I guess we'll have to see. The fans not overly receptive of this man. I wouldn't be either. He's cocky. He seems incredibly overconfident of himself. Hasn't had very many matches here. He hasn't won all of them, so it's not like the man's undefeated. He did win his debut match, so there is that. Here we go. Brian Monarch looking to show TJ King that he's no pushover like King thinks he is. Monarch with a stiff. Irish whip right into the corner there. Oh, and a beautiful falcon arrow. You'll see Monarch target the ribs and back area of TJ King a lot in this matchup. That's to set up his Monarch buster that Firing's carry dropped into the double knee gut buster that he loves to use. And as I said before, he uses it to great success. Going for the pin now. One, only one count low. Stiff strikes to the top of the head. Brennan Monarch followed up with a penalty kick right to the lower back. Oh, and then dropping and throat first across the top rope. Another kick to the spine there. Forearm strikes right across the side of the face and head from Brennan Monarch to TJ King. What's Monarch thinking here? Oh, beautiful! Beautiful! One, two, no! That leaping Frankensteiner off the top rope. Almost enough to put TJ away. The crowd chanting TJ Princess. TJ Princess. Springboard flying knee right to the side of the head. One, two, no. Monarch thought that was it. But that usually sets up. 
from this right here. Centers in for the Moro Buster. Coach the leg. One, two, three. What? No. TJ King showing his resiliency. Kicking out of that Monarch Buster. Shot to the midsection. Oh! And spikes him head first. Looks like he's starting to shift his focus to the head now with TJ King. Knee right to the face. Leg drop across the inside of the knee. And only a two count though. Take a look at the ribs. And then kicks his legs out from underneath him as he tries to stand up. Oh! Beautiful springboard leg drop. Not springboard, slingshot. I apologize. That baseball bat right to the freaking ribs. Oh no. Power bombs are right off the top turnbuckle. Monarch calling for him to get up again. Another springboard knee strike. Going for the pin. One, two, no! TJ kicking, kicking out again and keeping himself alive in this match. Monarch Buster again. It's got to be over now. Two, three, what? What? Big knee drop right across the face. That's right, TJ King has yet to get in any sort of offense. The man talked a fairly big game coming into this matchup. Oh! And drives him. Looked like it was right between the shoulder blades. Right into that top turnbuckle. Knee like right to the face. Stiff form. Off that chop there. And he followed up by clothesline over the top. Now it looks like he's formulating some sort of game plan before he goes out to follow up on it. Maybe he's just waiting for King to recover. Stiff shot there. Oh! Beautiful suplex outside the ring. Oh, and then a chair shot right to the ribs. Brian Monarch not playing around. One, two, no. Small pockets of the fans are starting to chant, this is awesome, but the majority of them are on their feet and cheering. And a third springboard knee strike. Monarch now taking time to hand to the crowd. I wouldn't really recommend that. Stiff right hand. And then it looks like he clapped his ears, maybe. And another Monarch Buster. Goes for the pin again. One, two, three. It's finally over. Give credit where credit is due, though. TJ King just would not go away. He clung to this match.
Like his life depended on it. There you see, right there. One of the many monarch busters it took to put him away. Right there, we thought it was over, but you see it, he threw his shoulder up. Monarch knew after that chair shot to the ribs that the match was all but over. As you see him go for the pin there, TJ's able to kick out, but. He followed it up with a flurry of strikes and then another Monarch Buster to put him away. Here is your winner and advancing to the next round of the tournament, Brennan Monarch. As you see TJ King roll out of the ring to get attended to by officials here. Looks like he might have some injured ribs, but he is able to get back to his feet. We move on to the second block of this tournament where we see the more interesting matchups where it comes to uh, characters, as we say. These two are complete opposite ends of the spectrum. S.K. Caldwell hails from a place called Bogmire Swamp, wherever the hell that is. And the Avenger hails from a place called the Avengerverse? I don't know. They can wrestle though, so we hired them. The crowd has seen the graphics go up for the next matchup and they're already chanting for Avenger. I am not gonna lie folks, this man gives me the creeps. We have a lot of unique individuals, but there's probably none more unique than this man. And I don't mean that in a good way. The following contest is I can't even, I can't even focus right now. This man is creepy. The following contest is the first round in the Bloodline Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Bogmire Swamp. This is S. K. Caldwell. Do you see the, you see that face on the side of his trunks? He calls out the Lady of the Swamp. Oh my god, he just made eye contact with me. 
Oh, that man's creepy. Oh. Oh, I'm glad I'm behind this desk. I'm glad I'm behind this announce table. And introducing his opponent from the Avengerverse. This is the Avenger. The crowd familiar with this man. However, I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen, I am not that familiar with the Avenger. So I have no idea what to expect from this man. All I know is he's dressed as a superhero. Oh, and Caldwell starting things off with a running neck breaker. Big DDT there. Spiking him head first. Already up on the middle rope. Clothesline there. Wiping him down to the mat. I've just received word from the back that Avenger is an actual superhero from the Avengerverse. Well, right now, I think he's uh, in a little bit of trouble. Against SK Caldwell here. Goes for the pin off that elbow to the back of the head. Rolling Senton right down across the ribs of the Avenger. Caldwell highly aggressive. Another clothesline off the middle rope. Wiping him right down to the mat. Oh my goodness. Oh! Caldwell splash off the top rope. Oh no. Oh, I thought he might have been going for the path of Caldwell. It looks like he might be going for it now. Path of Caldwell. One, two, three. My God. I am speechless. I am. I am absolutely speechless. Caldwell ran over this man. He is more aggressive than we have ever seen him. Here is your winner. And advancing to the next round of the tournament. S. K. Caldwell. I apologize for not being able to maintain my composure during the intro there. There are a number of individuals that give me the creeps on this roster, and he is 
He is by far the worst. Although there is Ragnarok as well. He's... Uh. Anyways, we're moving on to the last match of the first round. We see the real deal Blake O'Reilly coming over from WTF to face Samuel Draven. Blake O'Reilly, indeed the first man to ever win both the WTF and the YouTube Championship. However, I don't think he's ever had to face anyone like Samuel Draven. We'll see if O'Reilly can pull out the win here. O'Reilly's a very crafty individual. The following contest is a first round match in the Bloodline Championship Tournament. Introducing first, this is the real deal, Blake O'Reilly. This man is one of the most talented individuals I have ever seen step into a ring. And that says a lot. I have seen a lot of talent step in between those ropes. This man is head and shoulders above them all. And the crowd echoing, O'Reilly! Introducing his opponent. This is Samuel Draven. Samuel Draven. Trained by Big Jack Williamson. So you're going to see a lot of similarities between the two inside that ring once that bell sounds. And the crowd not fond. of this man. Not really fond of either of them. Samuel Draven starts things off by throwing him over into the corner and then clubbing him right between the shoulder blades. Draven involved in that 10-man rumble over at WTF. Oh, I apologize, Rising Stars. WTF's developmental territory.
Draven had five eliminations in that match. Literally half of the competition as he just wails away on Blake O'Reilly with that steel chair. Fisherman suplex right up off the canvas. Into the pin already. One. Only a one count though. He had to have known it's going to take more than that to put away one of the best to ever step in that ring. Oh, strikes though. Right to the face. Now just clubbing anywhere he can. Blake O'Reilly. With a counter, though, with that jawbreaker. Shoots him off the ropes. Not sure what he went for there, but just bounced off him. O'Reilly now starting to shift the momentum back into his favor. Now just pulling on that man's neck like I don't know I don't know what you, what you can do to this man because like everything O'Reilly seems to be hitting him with he's just shrugging off all his knee strikes just knocking him off the apron completely O'Reilly had a good little flurry in there. The man did nothing wrong. He just powered out. Good God, look at those knees. Those knees. Now into another full mount, just pounding away on O'Reilly. This is getting uncomfortable. I may sound like a broken record, oh my god, speaking of broken, speaking of broken, good god, that freaking spear almost put O'Reilly away. He calls out the javelin of darkness. O'Reilly just being thrown around like a rag doll. Still in this contest, though, is Blake O'Reilly. I don't know how any normal man would have been broken in half from that spear. Samuel Draven is damn near 300 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. The man weighs in at 290 pounds. Those knees again right to the ribs. Beautiful power slam suplex like Maneuver. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know what he calls that slam. But he he just put O'Reilly away with it. That spear right there. Draven, Chris Payne, Marcus Grant, all produced by Big Jack Williamson.
And you have to feel for O'Reilly because, well, no, you don't. The man's a douchebag. But he just got, he got destroyed. That was scary to watch. I've received word he calls that slam the eternal rest. We move on to the second round though. As we see Brad Flynn square off with Brennan Monarch. And then we see SK Caldwell take on Samuel Draven. One of these four will be your new and first ever Tri-State Zone Wrestling Bloodline Champion. Whichever one of these two win is going to have a hell of a matchup ahead. One might actually go as far to say whoever wins this match loses the next. And that's me slinging hyperbole around. That's not me being literal, but it, it could happen. Whoever wins this may very well lose the next match. Fans are seeing the graphics go up for Flynn versus Monarch. They're getting excited. You hear them already buzzing. The following contest is a second round match in the Bloodline Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring. This is Brad Flynn. Brad Flynn still looking just as focused as he did in the first round. You have to think that focus is what got him the win. That bell rang and he just he just took it to Falcon. A lot of people pegged Falcon as the favorite to win that matchup. Just from the Falcons in ring aggression. Introducing his opponent. This is Brennan Monarch. You see him sporting his devilish attire. Meaning he means business here tonight. He knows he's in for a fight against Brad Flynn. And he's come bearing the attire to show it.
Brad Flynn, Brennan Monarch. Here we go. Oh! Suplex into the backbreaker to start things off. Brennan Monarch wasting no time, taking it right to Brad Flynn. Drops that double sledge. Beautiful calf kick. Catching right on the jaw. Oh, big running knee there in the corner. And then follows it up with a shin breaker. Kick right to the lower back afterwards. Throw it over neck breaker. Got the arms hooked. Butterfly backbreaker. Monarch saying, you want to play aggressive, I can show you aggression. Beautiful Frankensteiner. One, two, no. People posting on the social feed, pulling for Brendan Monarch to win this matchup. Saying they think he can go all the way and win the championship. I'm starting to agree with them. He calls out the royal knee. That springboard knee strike. Here we go. He's got him up. Monarch Buster. One, two. No! That's two people in this tournament so far to kick out of the Monarch Buster. Those clubbing blows right to the side of the face and head though. Goes back in for more. Lifts him up. And Snake out in the corner. Looks like Brad Floyd might have been split open. Kicking out of the count of two off that pinfall attempt. Brad Floyd is indeed bleeding, ladies and gentlemen. That Snake Eyes split him open. And a Falcon Arrow. Off the ropes and drops that double sledge. Long clean up again. Overshot it. Brad Flynn looking to take advantage. Strikes right to the top of the head. Falls it up with a knee drop. Brad Flynn fighting back into this matchup. Big hip toss. Flynn's found his second win here. Knocks him off the apron. Going to the outside now. What's Flynn got in mind here? Back suplex on the outside. That padding was practically nothing. It's maybe half an inch thick. Throws him back in the ring now. 
Brad Flynn is taking control of this matchup. Oh my, we can see it. Here it is, Flynnboard DDT. Flynnboard DDT. And I think Brendan Monarch's been busted open now. Yes, he has. Both competitors are now bleeding. Belly to belly slam. Oh, oh, into the Flynn lock. Into the Flynn lock. And there's the tap out. Oh my goodness. Brad Flynn comes back and gets the submission win over a very game Brandon Monarch. What a matchup. What a comeback. There you see right there kicking out of the Monarch Buster. And then that snake guy is busting him open. Still had the wherewithal to kick out though. And then you see right there that flame board DDT dropping him right on top of his head and splitting him open. Setting him up perfectly. To end the match. Here is your winner. And advancing to the finals. Brad Flynn. No one, no one can fault this man if he loses now. Because he's knocked out both the Falcon and Brennan Monarch. He was the underdog in both matchups. This one, however, is what people have been buzzing about since this tournament started. Since this tournament was announced, people were hoping to see these two square off. And now they'll get their wish. The man from Bogmire Swamp taking on Samuel Draven. I asked Draven if he had any nicknames for himself, and he just looked at me and said, Death. I don't know if he was threatening me, or if he was referring to himself as Death Incarnate, but I did not press the issue further. following contest is a second round match in the Bloodline Championship Tournament. Introducing first from Bogmire Swamp, this is S.K. Caldwell. A 
tried to get Caldwell's thoughts on this matchup, and he ignored me. I asked him about Samuel Draven, and he ignored me. I asked him what he would do if he lost, and he ignored me. I started walking away, and he muttered, I won't lose. I don't think this man plans on losing either. Introducing his opponent. This is Samuel Braven. Go, go, go. This man is one of the most physically intense competitors to ever step into that ring. Five eliminations in the rumble over on WTF. Absolutely manhandled Blake O'Reilly. Here we go, these two starting off charging at each other. Caldwell wasting no time. Fine headbutt. Caldwell planning to follow up on what he said earlier about he won't lose. Spiking Draven head first. Caldwell taking it to the bigger man. Runs up and slugs him off the apron and then drops the elbow to the back of Draven's head. Going right underneath the ring and grabbing a baseball bat. Right between the shoulder blades, and then right to the ribs. Oh, leg drop right to the elbow, it looked like. Throws him back in the ring. Rolls him over and goes for the pin. Doesn't even hook the leg, though. One count as we see Draven just straight power out of it. Another DDT. Draven though, refusing to stay down. Slams his face into the mat. Big gut buster there. Caldwell. Really taking it to him. Caldwell splash off the top rope. Discus punch. Oh, path of Caldwell. One, two. Three! My God! Caldwell gave him no opportunities, no quarter, no opening. 
from the get-go. He knew he had to just come after him, and he did. Right there. I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. I expected Draven to kick out. Here is your winner. And advancing to the finals of the tournament. S. K. Caldwell. I won't lie. I am afraid for Brad Flynn's health. Brad Flynn has proved, though, that he can hold his own and then some. But Caldwell has just carved a path of destruction through this tournament. Just look at the eyes of Caldwell compared to the eyes of Flynn. Caldwell is a madman. You can see it on his face. I do not want to know what this individual does in his spare time. Besides probably torture small animals. Because that, that just seems like something he would do. and then maybe eat them afterwards. And I'm not talking small animals that you would normally eat. Like, I'm pretty sure this man's ate a cat. I'm almost positive this man is eating a cat. The following contest is for the Tri-State Zone Wrestling Bloodline Championship. Introducing first, this is Brad Flynn. In the social feed, Blowing up with hashtag believe in Flynn. We have some more hashtags rolling in that say called well for champ. I don't know why anybody would want this man with the championship belt. Maybe to keep him from hurting others on his path to the belt. But who should say he hasn't already done that? And introducing his opponent from Bogmire Swamp. This is S.K. Cold 
Wow. That's Ken Caldwell bearing the same symbol on the front of his shirt as Ragnarok. I asked Caldwell why he has that design and he, he told me because Ragnarok has it. So this man is either a fan of Ragnarok or he wants his attention. And I'm not sure Ragnarok is a man you would want the attention of. There it is. The Tri-State Zone Wrestling Bloodline Championship being held high by our official and there's the bell stiff right hand and a forearm shot strikes from Caldwell backing him into the corner oh my goodness Caldwell just taking it to Flynn. One of our interviewers in the back approached Caldwell before this match and asked him his thoughts. He said, I'm taking the belt, and I'm going home with it. Right now, it looks like he plans on following up on that. Ties him up in a tree of woe just to stomp on his ribs. Irish whipping the big ropes. Looks like Brad Flynn was able to counter there. Step back elbow. Knee drop right to the kidney, it looked like. Backhand chop. He pulls him back into that knee lift. Brad Flynn now in control. Knee drop right to the back of the head. Caldwell is in trouble here. Flapjack. Dropping a base first. Picks the leg and then tries to hyperextend the knee or the hamstring there. Not sure which one, but it was an effective move nonetheless. Kick right to the midsection. Throws him out into that power bomb. And a stomp right to the arm. Shot to the back of the head. And a vertical suplex. Float over neck breaker. Oh, and then spiking his foot into the ground, trying to hyperextend his knee, it looked like. One, only a one count, though. That's that pinfall attempt. Dropping those elbows right into the pectoral muscle. Brad Flynn. Brad Flynn has him. Flynn for DDT. But for the first time in this tournament, Caldwell is in trouble. He is in serious trouble. 
Hook trying to work over his head and neck, it looks like. Goes into the pin. One, two, no, only a two count. Flint has to think that this match is almost over, though. Look at the amount of punishment absorbed by Caldwell. The fire and scary takeover. Sets the man up perfectly for the flame lock. The flame lock. And there's the tap out. There's the tap out. Brad Flynn has done it. Brad Flynn is your new bloodline champion. Oh my god. Shock. Brad Flynn was given one little opening and he ran away with the match. There you see the Flynn lock right in the middle of the ring. Caldwell had no choice but to tap out. Here is your winner and the new Bloodline Champion, Brad What a tournament, ladies and gentlemen. What a tournament. Culminating in Brad Flynn becoming your new bloodline champion. We would like to thank you all for tuning in to this broadcast. And we hope that you will tune in to the next broadcast where we will crown the first ever Tri-State Zone Wrestling World Champion. Thank you, and good night.